To call this a mall does not do it justice. It's something beyond that. This is the river-facing view. This is the view from the road. It opened up about three months ago. They're still building the SkyTrain station to the front of it. A floating restaurant where workers wear traditional clothes. They use water a lot in this mall. A nice dining experience with tables facing the wall. Another dining area facing the water with plenty of flowers. Life-size elephants near the entryway. This is another entryway here, also announcing a function they're having with many chairs for a cultural party. Tall ceilings with many places to eat with elaborate artwork to make the place more entertaining. The sinks in the men's room on this level were like large design bowls. They're different on different levels and different floors. Thin waterfalls separate some areas from the other. You can still see them, but there's a few in the separation. Looking out towards the river. I was told this is the largest mall in Southeast Asia. I'm not sure about that, and I don't even care about that. The fact that how nicely it's done is what impresses me and has a feeling of comfort. If you're tired and want to rest, there's top level, very comfortable sofas in public areas. You don't have to buy something to be able to relax. Looking towards the river. They have all the usual top tier stores as well as other stores.
Each level is very tall to give an uncrowded, uncluttered feel. The animals look very real, but they're not. They're not stuffed animals. They're man-made to look like real animals. They're very sweet. It makes you want to take one home. Looking ahead, you'll see a tiger with his head moving around. And once it notices me, it sort of stops moving and focuses for a while at me. Eventually, it loses interest and keeps moving at me. The mall is located right next to the main river in Bangkok. The boats go and there's ferries that take people. There's major buildings right by the river. And you can get dropped off right at the river there. In fact, they have a free shuttle that will take you to the SkyTrain station from the mall on the waterway there and take you back. So if you want to come by water instead of land, it's free. Here's a view of the Apple Store from up above. The seventh and eighth floors are not complete yet. On the eighth floor, there will be the River Museum, a world-class museum in Bangkok. On the seventh floor, there will be a major hall that will have retractable seats so they can transform the space for different conventions and sizes by the push of a button and a super modern health club. Another view of a few of the levels. It's hard to film all of that at once. We've lived near Eureka, California. Eureka means I have found it.
More fountains and small waterfalls and displays of water outside. This is between the mall and the river. So there's plenty of space out there and plenty of green and plenty of water to help you feel a little cooler in an otherwise hot environment. This is a Hilton Hotel next door. More scenes of the river. We decided to walk towards the boat pier where we could get the free shuttle to be close to the sky train. So we gradually walked in that direction, taking in the views along the way. The Mandarin Oriental Hotel, a very well-known hotel. The Shangri-La Hotel, another well-known hotel. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as we have. We enjoyed that trip. And please hit the like button if you like this, and even better, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.